Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. Good morning. Well, y'all have worked for the past uh, four years trying to put so many things into place that the Trump voter wanted. And then Joe Biden comes in and signs all these executive orders, more than the last like five presidents combined. I think he's up to 25. And Trump, Obama, George Bush, Clinton, the most that anyone did was Trump uh, with six. So here's Joe Biden and Jen Psaki talking about the executive orders, and we'll get your reaction. I'm about to sign two executive orders that are basically the best way to describe them, to undo the damage Trump has done. Any historian will tell you that he walked into the presidency at one of the most difficult moments in history. That required additional executive action. He has also proposed a COVID relief package, a big, bold package. He's not held back or delayed putting forward legislation either. So uh, he's going to use the levers that every president in history has used, executive actions. Senator, the New York Times editorial, editorial board even said ease up on executive action. And they called this a flawed substitute for legislation. You were one of the ones that votes on legislation. Do you, how do you feel about this? Oh, it's just an attempt to, to basically govern the country uh, by executive fiat. And I think it's very, very dangerous. And the nature of it, too, look at what he's doing. These are radical policies he's pursuing. I mean, killing energy jobs, killing the energy sector in the United States, which is essentially what he's doing. Can you imagine how many good paying American jobs that's going to cost? I mean, and then you get the radical actions with women's sports and across the board. I mean, it's really, it's breathtaking what he's trying to do on substance. It's breathtaking that he's trying to do it without any democratic debate or legislation. And I think it really shows you this is somebody who's got a pretty far left agenda and it's somebody who's intent on imposing it on the country. Right. You can quickly undo it if you win the presidency uh, in four years, but that's the problem with the New York Times brought out. But I think it's going to get worse. Just when Mitch McConnell got reassurance that the filibuster is not going to get blown up because Joe Manchin and Senator Sinema is going to stand in the way, they're leaning on reconciliation. And the first case in point will be the 1.9 trillion package full of crap that has nothing to do with the pandemic that they're going to jam down our throats with a simple majority. You know that's coming. Yeah, it is coming. It's coming very soon. Could come as early as next week in terms of this reconciliation. And that's just, as you say, Brian, that's just a way to get around the 60 vote threshold in the United States Senate. Well, I don't have any illusions. The Democrats are going to, they're, they're going to use every trick in the playbook. And I think that they will ultimately try to get rid of the filibuster because they have a radical agenda that they want to jam down the throats of the American people. And let's talk about unity for a second. Unity and healing that Joe Biden and the Democrats say we need, that's not what they're giving us. They are attempting to have total control. They're trying to silence opposition. They're trying to silence people like me who stand up and speak out against them. And they're trying to jam down a radical agenda, jam through a radical agenda uh, without public support. And I, I tell you, this, this is dangerous stuff. Yeah.